Hello and welcome to the 2015-16 preview of the Tiffany University men's basketball program for the GLIAC Conference website. I'm Russell Snyder alongside head coach Jerry Bucilla. Coach, how are we doing today, sir? Doing well, Russ. Thanks for having me today. Well, thank you for being here. You're entering your third season as the head coach of Tiffany University men's basketball program. Got a lot of depth coming back this year. You have five seniors returning, plus a couple other returners. Let's start with the seniors. Talk about what they mean to your program. Well, I'm just real excited about these five, Russ. Um, each, each one of these young men have started a number of games in the GLIAC, and so the experience uh, since I've been involved with the, uh, the team is, is by far the deepest, and uh, they're showing great leadership, and uh, I'm just real excited about watching them play during their senior year. You know, three of those young men were, you know, kind of hit with the injury bug last year. We're talking about Khalil McCormick, Andy Bachman, and Krishan Marsden. How are those guys doing this year after last season? They're doing well. They've had a good, very good preseason. Uh, practice is hard. We only finished our first week. They've been practicing hard. They're healthy. They're hungry. I think they felt like they were cheated out of a, uh, you know, a half a year. And, and they were. And knowing that this is their senior year, those three guys in particular are very hungry to uh, uh, leave their mark on Tiffin University basketball. I think they were robbed of a half a year last year, too. Those three key cogs in our, what we were doing last year and uh, no, not able to you know, play the whole season due to the injury bug. Now, a couple other returners coming back, uh, and guard Alex Brown and center Muhammad Rage. Talk about what they mean to the program. Well, both of them are, uh, again, going to be integral pieces of the program. Muhammad is a fourth-year guy, uh, junior red shirt. And I thought he really improved last year, and uh, we look for him to uh, uh, be a uh, be a, a real solid post. And then Alex Brown, you know, as a true freshman last year, had to had to step in that second half of the season when we lost the three players we just mentioned. And Alex had to start the whole second half as a freshman, and. Uh, Really uh, did a nice job. I think he ended up averaging in double digits. Uh, assist to turnover ratio was good. Um, and so, uh, you know, we, we were real pleased with Alex's growth as a freshman. You talked about Muhammad Rage and his improvement that he made coming into last year. And we talked about in our broadcast a lot that we thought maybe he was the most improved player that you had coming back next year. When you talk about these kids here that we had just mentioned, who's the one you think maybe needs to come back this year as the most improved to make sure you're successful? Or is it all of them? Boy, we put the <laughs> challenge out to, to all of them. I tell you, John Sutherland had a tremendous summer um, and, and has had a real nice fall. And uh, I really think you're going to see John step up his game. And, uh, and then Khalil McCormick. You know, Khalil was a preseason All-American watch list, preseason first-team All-Gleac, was averaging 16 or 7 points and 7 rebounds when he got hurt. And he didn't get any honors. And we felt uh, as a staff that Khalil got cheated – because he was playing so well, mm -hmm. and, and um, I think Clill's going to even be better. So, you know, I think we're going to look at one of the premier players in the GLIAC on the floor. Sometimes it just takes something like that, like that extra little spark yeah. underneath you. So it would be great to see Clill come out with yeah. that little extra fire this year. All right, we talked about the kids you had coming back from last year's program. How about some of the kids who are coming in new to the program this year? Well, we had a real nice class in the recruiting. We actually brought in about 10 guys. So we've been competing at practice with 17. Um, and we're redshirting about four of those young men. But I just want to speak about four guys specifically that we believe are going to uh, uh, be key cogs in, into what we do as well. We lost two guards last year. Mm -hmm. And so we've replaced those guys with three. And uh, we got a, uh, a Division One transfer, um, Antonio Kennard. <laughs> we have a couple Antonios. Oh, Antonio sure. Kennard yeah. out of the Toledo area. It was a Bethune-Cookman, and Antonio has had a real, real nice uh, uh, preseason uh, as well. Then we've got a junior college kid that can really light it up, can run the pointer, the two, and Jawan Johnson. And then we have another true freshman who is competing really well, and he's out of the uh, West Palm Beach, Florida area in Terrell Mabins. So those three guys, in particularly at the guard position, gives us some good depth there. And uh, I look for them to do some very good things on the floor. And then we got a big transfer um, who we've been pleased with how he's coming along. And Jake Campbell, he was down at Presbyterian, seven foot, about 260. Mm -hmm. And should give us uh, some additional depth at the post. So those are the four newcomers. That, you, that we'll be counting on. The August started November 14th in the GMAC GLIAC Challenge up in Detroit, Michigan. Then on November 23rd, home opener against Lambden College. The Dragons will be hosting a Thanksgiving tournament on November 27th and 28th. Hillsdale, December 3rd, will be the GLIAC opener at Hillsdale. Then the home opener for the GLIAC will be against Grand Valley State on December 11th. Coach, thank you so much for your time. Have a great year this year, and give, our, give the kids our best. I will. Thanks, Russ, and go Dragons. Go Dragons. This has been our preview of Tiff University men's basketball. Thank <laughs> you.